We're asked to determine the equation of the linear function that passes through the points negative four comma negative seven and eight comma two. We're asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, and we're also asked to graph the function using the graphing tool. For this example, I think we'll first find the equation of our line graphically, and then come back and find it algebraically by determining the slope using our formula here, and then substitution to find the y-intercept b. So let's begin by graphing the line passing through these two points using our graphing tool. We first want to select the line tool here below, and now we'll click on the first point, negative four comma negative seven, which would be here. Notice now the line appears, and now we want to click on the second point, which is eight comma two. which would be here. Now that we have the line graphed, let's take this graph back to our presentation so we can show some work. We know in order to find the equation in slope-intercept form, we need to find the slope of the line, which is m, as well as the y-intercept, which is b. So looking at the graph of our line, notice how here is the y-intercept, or vertical intercept. Notice how it has coordinates zero comma negative four, which means b equals negative four. Now we want to determine the slope of our line. To do this graphically, we want to select two points on the line that have integer coordinates, and then we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right and determine the change of y and the change of x. The quotient will give us our slope. So let's go ahead and use this point here, the y-intercept, and this point here, which we were given. If we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we'd have to go up three units, and therefore the change of y is equal to positive three, and then we'd have to go right four units, and therefore the change of x y is equal to positive four. And because the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, notice our slope is three-fourths. We have all the information we need to write the equation of our line in slope-intercept form. The equation is y equals three-fourths x plus negative four or just minus four. So let's also verify this algebraically. Again, we're given the line passes through the point negative four comma negative seven as well as the point eight comma two. Let's begin by determining the slope using our slope formula here, so we'll call these the ones, x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, and y sub two. So the slope m is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, that would be two minus negative seven, divided by x sub two minus x sub one, that would be eight minus negative four. So here we have two plus seven or nine, eight minus negative four is 12, and nine twelfths does simplify to three fourths. So of course we found the same slope algebraically, and now to find b or the y-intercept algebraically, we'll substitute the value of m into our equation and then perform substitution using one of our points. So since the slope is equal to three fourths, we know our equation must be y equals three fourths x plus b. Let's go ahead and use the second point so we'll substitute two for y and eight for x. And the reason we can do this is that if this point is on the line, it must satisfy the equation. So y is two equals three-fourths times x, which is eight, which I write as eight over one, since our slope is a fraction, plus b. So we have two equals, notice we can simplify here, there's one four and four and two fours and eight. So we have two times three or six plus b. Subtracting six on both sides, notice how we get a y-intercept of negative four. Again, the same thing we found graphically. So whichever our method is, the equation of the line passing through the given two points is y equals three-fourths x minus four. I hope you found this helpful.